Hello and welcome to our next webinar of our Rotronic Connect series regarding Wi-Fi technology. My name is Kerstin Maser. I'm Corporate Product Manager for, for Wireless Technologies at Rotronic. And with me today in this webinar is Infineon, Mr. Mauro Botura from the Regional Marketing Department at Infineon. Um, Mauro, I would suggest I hand over to you now. You can share your screen. Welcome to everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Mauro Bottura. I work in NC Free Division Marketing Division. I'm located in Milano office. And uh, today I'm the person selected for this kind of presentation regarding <coughs> Wi Fi and Bluetooth combo product portfolio, focusing on the low power uh, solution. So we can immediately start uh, with a, an overview, with a comment regarding our IP that there is inside our chip IP working uh, um, for the Wi-Fi protocol. So it's important to underline that our IP is coming from Broccom. Uh, six years ago, uh, Cypress that was acquired by Infineon uh, three years ago, uh, made a special agreement to buy the IoT uh, division of Broccom. So the IP that we are using inside our Wi-Fi solution is the standard Broccom IP. This is a sure uh, the best in terms of uh, interoperability. The reason is very simple. If you have a look uh, to the server, the, the, the telephone, the gateway, 80% uh, of this kind of devices are using Broadcom. Our IP is basically the same. So the interoperability between these two uh, IP is 100%, is maximum because the, the IP is the same. This means, uh, what does it mean? It means a lot of things. It means that the connection is very stable. There are no problem when, uh, for example, uh, there are many devices connected to the router. And then we have to also underline that the uh, Broadcom IP is sure today uh, the most popular and the low power available in the market. It's uh, very new in the market because uh, they sold a lot of uh, uh, devices. So we had uh, um, a good solution mm, compatible in the market, a uh, very good uh, to standard connection in uh, the consumer market uh, on the industrial market. What uh, kind of uh, environment we are able to support? But normally, uh, our Wi-Fi solution are, are able to work uh, both in uh, Linux, Android uh, solution, and also in RTOS. Uh, obviously, in the, in the solution based on RTOS, so based on the MCU, not uh, the MPU, uh, we can propose our PSO6 as host because 80% of uh, our um, uh, Wi-Fi chipset uh, are hostless, means that they need an external MCU, and uh, our preferred host today is, is the PISO 6, uh, and for the next generation, the PISO cage that we are releasing now as new MCU for IoT application. Um, that is uh, uh, important because if you use uh, uh, PSOC, you can use also module toolbox. That is our standard software platform to develop uh, with our MCU and all our uh, chipset uh, with inside an MCU, obviously. Another uh, uh, slide of introduction, which kind of application we are, are uh, focusing on? Uh, thinking that, uh, uh, as I say, we are focusing on low power uh, application, battery power application. So thinking uh, to wearable solution, obviously, that are very popular. 
but smart home today there are a lot of uh, solution inside the smart home that are battery powered uh, audio audio for um, for for example uh, speakers and so on and uh, printer and gaming obviously gaming with the high level uh, chipset available ma mainly the two antennas or stronger in terms of uh, of power all uh, this uh, solution are uh, um, connected ideally with some chipset that you can find uh, below so for example for low power solution uh, you can focus in on the 43022 for example that is the last one if you need a stronger device you have the 590 and so on so you you have an idea what you can use for the different application so having a look to our uh, product portfolio in general, considering microcontroller and connectivity, we can immediately underline uh, a couple of things. First, in terms of MCU, in terms of host, as I said uh, before, our preferred host today is the PISO 6, and uh, we are uh, moving through the PISO cage. PISO in general are the MCU. Uh, focusing on IoT and consumer application. By the other side, we, we have the XMC that are the um, platform for the industrial application, what we call industrial MCU. And uh, jumping more in detail, in detail regarding the roadmap of the Wi-Fi combo or Wi-Fi combo MCU solution, we have a huge device in Wi-Fi combo. What they say means uh, uh, without the host inside, so hostless. And today, uh, during this presentation, I focus on uh, a couple of uh, new chipset that are uh, in the market uh, since uh, the beginning of this year. And uh, we are releasing now all the module of the collateral, so ready to jump into Full, uh, full development and full production uh, based on the Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. And uh, for your information, we have uh, not many, but also some niche devices that uh, are with inside the MCU. Normally is a Cortex-R4 or po potentially for the next generation Cortex-M33. Finally, in the product portfolio, we have all, all, also the uh, Bluetooth and, B, and BLA only, so without the uh, Wi-Fi inside. But this part is not uh, mentioned in this presentation, probably in the next one. This is the product portfolio of the uh, Wi-Fi uh, solution, iROC Wi-Fi. IROC is uh, the, the name that uh, we decide to use for all the connectivity products. So connectivity means Wi-Fi combo, but also BLE only. And uh, this nickname, IROC, uh, has been uh, uh, decided by Infineon when there was the acquisition of uh, Cypress. Uh, I, uh, in terms of higher <laughs> because it's wireless and rock as strong so the nickname uh, could be funny but is important because when you enter in um, in our website uh, if you are looking for a connectivity device you have only to uh, looking for the word i rock and then you can find everything we have a chipset uh, based on Wi-Fi 4, so 11N, Wi-Fi 5, 11AC, and Wi-Fi 6 now also 11AX available in, in, in the market. Here you have all the devices, but uh, for the Wi-Fi 4, we have to focus in on the 43439. That is uh, now basically our starting point entry device that show the, the cheaper one compared to the other. Um, it's also uh, very popular in, in, the, in the industrial market mainly. 
uh, we have a, a sort of history related to this chip because uh, uh, this is a sort of success of the 4338 that uh, was the previous one, a very popular in the market. So if you are looking for a very low cost solution, you can look in and select this one. But if you want to do something more with the Wi-Fi 5, we have different uh, solution and uh, and um, inside this uh, family we can uh, select the first one for 373 if you are looking for a single antenna and uh, with uh, the opportunity also to to have the usb interface inside dual band or if you are looking for something more powerful for example for gaming and so on there is also the 590 this is a dual band dual, dual antenna and uh, with a lot of peripheral inside also the qualification automotive is available in the 591 so um, these are the wi-fi five devices but uh, if you are looking for something very special very ultra low power this is the right one the 53022. This is uh, uh, a, a device that has born for battery power solution. And I introduce you in the next slide with all the details. Finally, if you are looking for the new generation of the Wi Fi, so thinking Wi Fi 6, Wi Fi 6A, we have uh, uh, today available in the market two family, the 5557X, we can call 123, and the 5551X, so 123 also in this case, uh, both uh, able to support Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 6C. Uh, the first one more powerful, the second one uh, with uh, some limitation but in my opinion much better in the market because cheaper and more than enough in terms of performance if you are looking for a standard wi-fi 6 device also on this chip we will spend uh, some slide to enter in detail one important uh, uh, thing to underline is that the uh, wi-fi uh, combo chipset are not in available in the market as chipset. We provide the chipset only to the module maker or customer that are working are uh, the experience to produce a module. Normally, uh, for the standard customer and all the distribution customer, we are proposing module module uh, that are coming from our partner the big partner that we have the the big the, the, the reference partner that we have is uh, murata because murata uh, produce uh, one module for all our chipset one or more for our chipset so is the sure our reference uh, then we have azure wave that uh, is uh, sure cheaper than Murata but uh, we can compare in terms of uh, performance and support and then a, a lot of other solutions. Uh, consider that the Murata is, is our uh, reference partner uh, today in this presentation I use Murata as example uh, for the module part. The first chip uh, that uh, we I will I will introduce now is the 43022. What uh, we simply call ultra low power Wi-Fi 5 for battery power solution. So I rock uh, 45420 um, so, sorry 43022 is a dual band Wi-Fi 5 11C with the Bluetooth combo inside. Bluetooth combo means low energy standard for battery uh, power uh, solution. Uh, 43022 uh, is uh, sure uh, now one of uh, our uh, best solution 
in terms of uh, power consumption is ideal for battery uh, operated products. Uh, there is a ultra low power uh, design and uh, a strong interoperability to uh, minimize the hard time. The interoperability is what I introduced in the first slide with the, 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 the concept of the IP coming from Broadcom. So the best interoperability means that the, the connection is uh, basically always on without problem, means that you can keep the host in sleep mode. And this concept will uh, be explained better in the, in the, the next uh, slide. Uh, then uh, there are a lot of uh, security functionality in terms of uh, uh, firmware authentication and access restriction. And uh, we have to uh, remember that we have an hardware inside the chipset uh, called Coexistent that is managing the uh, Bluetooth and Wi Fi at 2.5 GHz working at the same frequency without any uh, support from the host and any software to write by the, uh, the, the designer, but this is done completely hardware. So uh, the, 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 the management of the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on uh, the same frequency, 2.4 gigahertz, is done completely by hardware. Um, um, here are some more uh, detail regarding uh, this uh, chipset and regarding the concept of the power consumption. This is a, a, a new device designed at 28 nanometer, so uh, a, a technology that is the best one for the, the, the power consumption. Um, is a ultra low power. For example, uh, we are able to 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 reach in sleep power mode 40 uh, nanowatt. So is 80 percent less compared to our compet competitor, but also compared to our other solution that we can offer in the market. Uh, the Wi-Fi 5 is a dual band uh, Wi-Fi 5 and in, in, inside we have also the power amplifier and low noise am amplifier. Uh, Bluetooth is the Bluetooth standard or low energy 5.4 with uh, a strong uh, uh, TX power, 20 dBm. The coexistent engine that uh, I underlined before and uh, in terms of uh, package is available uh, in uh, these two package that uh, is the VLBG or VLCSP that are compatible pin to pin with the previous one because the four uh, three zero two two is basically the successor of the four three zero one two that. Uh, uh, I show in the in the slide in the robot slide. So having a solution pin to pin compatible is a strategic. Mm, here are some uh, data related to the power consumption uh, with some competitor or some in other uh, infinite solution. Uh, what we can say that uh, sure we are able to improve the uh, battery life two or three times. And this is obviously very, very important. Also, for example, in domotic application for sensor or something battery powered. Uh, I want to show you this block. Uh, what is written is basically what we have already described, but with the graphic is easier to, to show you. So we have the Wi-Fi 5 with a dedicated processor that is M4, and then the Bluetooth uh, block with the stack inside, and also an M3. So we have two processors inside to manage the, 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 the wireless uh, peripherals. And then obviously we have the host connected uh, via uh, SDIO. 
the coexistence uh, uh, engine inside uh, able to manage uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at the same frequency. Finally, a dedicated power management unit is available as well to um, improve uh, the, 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 the uh, to reduce, sorry, not improve, to reduce uh, the, the power consumption. So, uh, the previous slide show uh, power saving at device level. Uh, now, in this slide, uh, we, we, we show you uh, the, the, the way to reduce and, and how can they reduce the power consumption at the system level. And uh, the concept um, of the network of load is described in this slide and uh, we handle all the network traffic and uh, we make message you know, available continuously while the host is in sleep mode. So basically uh, we are able to, to use to um, use the host support uh, only when there is something to do that is not the standard connection. And this is a strategic because you reduce a lot, a lot the, the, the consumption. Consider that the dedicated MCU that there is inside is, is efficiency in terms of power consumption. Um, another important thing is that um, Wi-Fi is normally always connected. If you have a router and so on, is to 20 hour a day connected and every day. So it's mandatory to reduce the power consumption in, 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 uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in this section. So reduce 100% the wake up is the way to have a very stable and uh, low power system. Okay, from uh, from the the, the 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 network traffic type chipset is also able to answer to the standard network message without the the the, the host support like local uh, network traffic, IP network traffic, cloud uh, MQTT, and also Matter that uh, is uh, now more and more strategic for the domotic application. Uh, this slide could be considered a twin lies of the previous one because the previous one was on the uh, Wi-Fi solution. This is on BLE, Bluetooth BLE. And uh, uh, also for uh, the Bluetooth, we can uh, say the same thing. So we have a solution with on-chip uh, on stack and inside there is a dedicated MCU. So you can keep the host also for Bluetooth, often, often uh, in, in, in sleep. So what we, we explained and we underlined before is exactly the same for the, for the Bluetooth. Bluetooth is able alone to support uh, standard profile like the audio, advanced audio distribution, no? uh, the uh, to, uh, 2DB, the um, hands-free, and also the low energy. We can summarize uh, in uh, two words. This uh, chipset is able to offer you a high quality of Bluetooth at 20 dBm and Wi-Fi 20 dBm as well with power and amplify and low energy. Uh, um, a low noise amplifier, sorry, uh, inside, a way also to reduce a lot the, the bill of material, dual band, and uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, with the, all of this uh, performance, so the, this, uh, this power in TX, we are able to, to use a small antenna. Um, to support better the, 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 the design of the, 
extended range, we had a reference design with inside the power amplifier and low noise amplifier. And this is available for all the customer. And uh, what I normally suggest is to, to show to 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 the to the customer. This is uh, uh, has been done ideal for outdoor applications such as IP camera and so on. But uh, is a good example. Is a good reference design. And this is available in 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 in, in Infinio. In terms of evaluation kit, often there are a lot of confusion. Considering that this device needs the host, this chip. Uh, um, it is available, but uh, as I say, in distribution for 80% of the customer worldwide, we have to propose the module, not the chip. So there are a lot of confusion, but uh, with this guy, probably uh, you can uh, better understand how does it work. We normally propose embedded artist uh, baseboard that is uh, uh, um, a base on, uh, on in. Um, EMX and on the top we can add all the Infineon M2 uh, M2 board M2 is the standard no connection board based on the 43022 or if you if you prefer you can use the embedded artist based on the Murata 2G module always with the M2 connector all the documentation and so on is available on the market and this is the solution that we can uh, provide for linux environment um, so embedded artist is based on linux because there is an emx on 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 the top okay if you are looking for a ertos solution so you can uh, select our uh, MCU because we don't have MPU in our product portfolio, but we have PSOC that is an MCU. Uh, you can uh, take this uh, baseboard that is the uh, basically the starter kit of the PSO6, no? Infineon PSO6 board. Here there is the connector for the M2 uh, adding board. So baseboard of the piso 6 the same m2 radio based on the murata for example 2g module or the other one is the same because the connector is the same and interesting here you can also in this board had this uh, adding board that we use to uh, make a power measurement setup so uh, we are able to, uh, if the customer want, to use a software and with uh, some parameter uh, make a sort of estimation of the battery life. Parameter are obviously the, the chips that use, the, the TX and RX power, so the input battery, the team, and you, as a result, you have the uh, battery life estimation. The software is available at Infineon, and uh, if you need uh, for for customer, or, or if a customer need, can ask to sorry to Rutronic, and uh, we will share this uh, information. Okay. Uh, in terms of uh, ecosystem hardware and software support, we have the, the Murata 2G module available in production. As I say, we are able to support Linux and RTOS with different hardware and soft, uh, hardware platform uh, software, obviously. And we have uh, all the, the information like uh, data sheet, uh, application note, uh, getting started, and so on in our website. Now, uh, we will uh, switch uh, the, 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 the presentation in detail to the Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. So for the Wi-Fi 6, uh, we have basically two new family, the 5557X and the 5551X. We start with the 5557X, that is the big one, the powerful one. Uh, this is a uh, uh, is big is the two channel Wi-Fi six or Wi-Fi six C. So 
we have the three band or the dual band with a Bluetooth 5.2 combo and here a little bit the structure so we have the the uh, the, the the radio part for the uh, Wi-Fi here the radio part for the Bluetooth the coexistent obviously uh, as in in the in the previous chip inside uh, to manage the 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 radio of the wi-fi we have a cortex r4 and the m33 for the 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 bluetooth and then we have the the interface external interface interesting uh, for example uh, is uh, underlined that we have many serial interfaces uh, such as uart square s uh, and uh, this is good because uh, you can uh, easily connect it in 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 your hardware also wired um important is also the the the, the package uh, that we have a, a bga but also a very compact pa package the w uh, wl csp and uh, in terms of uh, preferred hosted in this case, uh, uh, we suggested to use uh, this uh, chipset with the uh, also with an MPU that is uh, is stronger instead of the, uh, a standard MCU. And the, also the evaluation board are uh, on this line, so we are focusing on the MPU. Uh, more detail regarding the different uh, name, the, the because we have the 571, 572, and 573. So you see our very very similar footprint compatible so no different the difference is only that the first one is uh, one channel and three band the second one the two is a two channel and dual band and the last one is the complete one the umbrella device we can say so the two channel and three band so is a complete uh, 6e all of these uh, products are available. In terms of module, Murata is offer a module for the 571 and the 573. So uh, for the bigger one and the uh, little one. A typical application, in this case, I want to show you some SAS history that uh, we already had in, in the market. Uh, with some example of business running, design activity or new opportunity. But as you can see, 80% uh, are application where new need low power consumption. And on the other side, different of the previous chipset, where you need also powerful. So a Wi-Fi 6 makes sense. For example, things is the extra glasses, or, uh, for example, video, audio conference uh, or smart app. Okay. As I say, uh, as Murata, we have the two EA and two EC module, one for the seven, uh, if I, um, for the 555 uh, and 555.73. Uh, all uh, the other information uh, are available in our uh, website. Uh, so data sheet uh, getting starting and uh, all what you need platform uh, obviously are um, platform based on mpu so we we think in an nvidia rock chip and so uh, a strong platform as host because uh, you need the powerful and for this reason the evaluation board that is already available on, on the market this is the the, 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 the part number is a basically done by a baseboard plus a, a raspberry board with a CM4 host and a, a, again an embedded artist M2 with a Murata 2A uh, uh, so the, 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 the module of, of, of Murata um, this uh, kit is available uh, so we are ready to 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 sell if you need the other side uh, of the wi-fi 6 we have the a solution that is cheaper 
sometimes better, especially in uh, distribution market where uh, sometimes uh, the, the price is mandatory. Uh, the family is the 55513. You see, is an evolution. Also, in this case, we have uh, three devices: the 11, 12, 13, single band, dual band, and three band. Uh, basically, the same. We need uh, also in this case an host, but a host that can be also a piece of. In this case, uh, it's not mandatory to have a MPU, but uh, uh, an MCU could be enough. Um, and uh, we are also releasing the module. So the chipset is really available, but unfortunately, module are not uh, available yet. Uh, the, the Q2 of 2025. So uh, we we have only the chipset in in this case. There is also the the the, the twin uh, solution, the the, the 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 evolution that is the same, but with inside an MCU. So in this case, you have a completely the solution without the need of the external host because the host is inside. A couple of slides to show better all uh, this uh, price, the 555 So basically the same, only the radio is changing. Uh, you have also here uh, the, the interface uh, uh, external interface, uh, the, the radio part uh, with the Cortex R4 and the, the M33 as the other. So is basically the same structure is a, is a reduction in terms of performance, but the structure is very, very similar. Uh, also in terms of uh, performance is interesting because for example, we have 24 dBm of power and also the sensitivity is uh, is very high, is more than uh, minus 100 uh, dBm. Uh, for this reason, in my opinion, this is one of the most interesting in the market, in the distribution market. Um, in terms of evaluation board, again, we have uh, a base board very similar to the, the previous one with the Raspberry uh, host part and the uh, card, no? the, 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 uh, the M2 card again, no, no? in this case with the chipset. So base board, Raspberry board, and the M2 card based on the uh, 55513. Um, for your information, we are developing, is under developing also a, a, a compact solution, a board that is excellent for audio application. Uh, in this case, uh, you you have all, always uh, the, the base board plus the, the radio connector. And uh, to work, uh, you can uh, um, use uh, connected to the Arduino interface that is here, our PISO 6. So in this case, you have a board based on our PISO 6 with the radio and uh, born to, to, to support a little bit the audio application, but it's good because it's a PISO 6 evaluation board that will be available soon. The module have the of Murata are the two G Y and two F Y. Finally, uh, the, the 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 solution with inside the the MCU. So the chipset is exactly the same, but we have inside the MCU subsystem the MCU subsystem that is a Cortex M33 completely autonomous. In this case, you don't need nothing. You have everything as a single chip. So the, the radio subsystem, the MCU, and all what you need, obviously also the memory. As I say since the, uh, since the beginning, the module is, is not available yet. Um, the schedule of Murata is released for production second quarter of 2025. 
probably some sample also in Q1, but uh, for production is Q2. And uh, uh, the evaluation board in this case is exactly uh, the, the, the same that I showed you uh, uh, in the previous slide. Uh, for the solution based on the on the on the PSOC, because it's the same baseboard with the the radio part. In this case, the radio is the uh, radio of the 913, no, and uh, you don't need any host. So also, this there is Arduino con connector here. You don't need to connect anything because the MCU is already inside. So no host is uh, is requested. Okay, this is the, the 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 end of my presentation. I hope that uh, everything is clear. If you have uh, adding question or if you want to uh, uh, enter more in detail, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. My my email address is uh, mauro.bottura at infinion.com. Many thanks, Mauro, for your time and your interesting presentation. Um, if you should have any further questions, as Mauro said, you can contact him. Or, of course, you can also contact us from Rotronic via our email address, wireless at rotronic.com. So many thanks and have a nice day. <laughs>